Oh, hello there. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether it's possible to have too much Lego. So I've got a bit of a Lego haul to show you here. This is Lego that I've collected actually over the last year and haven't got round to building yet. And while we're taking a look at it, I really want to discuss with you whether or not it's possible to have too much Lego. Now, a little bit of a sneak peek. I, believe it or not, think you can have too much Lego. But please let me know down below in the comments if you agree. There are some caveats, some nuances to my argument, so uh, don't kind of judge me before you've heard me out. But anyway, let's get on and take a look at the things that I've got. So we'll start with most recently. Most recently, I purchased one of these from uh, Amazon. So this is a minifigure display case. It's official Lego merchandise. And these display cases come in black and white. They display 16 minifigures and they've got these little doors that open up and they've got little plates inside for you to actually stand your minifigures on. So they're, they're pretty cool, really. Now you may have seen in one of my other videos in my Lego minifigure haul, I actually bought loads of minifigures off a friend of mine and um, they all came in these great display cases. And you may have seen in my last video that I bought a box of 60 minifigures, unboxed them, and uh, basically I've collected the whole of series 17, I think it is. So now I need a way of displaying them. And I thought, well, seeing as I've got other minifigures in these boxes, I might as well get another one of these. They are stackable, these boxes. Um, they've got kind of Lego studs at the top. They don't fit together snugly, but it's quite a good way of putting them together. So really, I need to find a wall somewhere to stack, I think, the five of these that I've got. Now, I got this from Amazon for £20, described as new other, because the packaging was broken. That's actually this, this bit of broken cardboard here. So not really a great big deal. It's in pretty good condition. In fact, my other ones that I've got are in probably in a little bit worse condition than this. So I wasn't too bothered about the possibility of it looking a little bit used. I think now that I've started collecting these minifigures, I really should display them in a consistent way. And this really brings me on to my first point about whether or not it's possible to have too much Lego. I didn't really want to start collecting Lego minifigures. And now that I have, it feels a little bit like it could run away with itself. I've got five of these full of Lego minifigures. The cost soon mounts up and each time I get a new series of minifigures I need to get another one of these to display them in. So, But basically it's just the cost and the space really. So I'm not really sure how many more minifigures I will collect. Otherwise I'll end up with walls and walls full of these display cases. So that's the first item. Now the second item is something that I've recently quite enjoyed building and that is the Lego architecture kits. And here we have the Lego architecture Sydney skyline. Now you may have also seen in another video of mine that I made a review of the Lego Shanghai um, skyline and basically said that Lego had copied China. Uh, it was a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek video. Uh, it wasn't really serious. I don't actually think that Lego has copied China. But when I got that set, I also got this one. And I got these from a website called IWantOneOfThose.com. This one is noticeably smaller, actually, than the Shanghai Skyline. I don't know whether they're to scale or not. Um, but yeah, they're quite nice sets, quite nicely displayed. The instructions are pretty good in these architecture sets because they give you a load of background about the city, uh, loads of information, lots of pretty pictures so that you can actually learn a bit about the, the skyline that you're building. Now, this is the second architecture set I've made and yeah, they're, they're good fun. I think they're a little bit expensive. Yeah, so this seems to be about £43 on Amazon, which is a lot for a model of this size, but quite a nice gift and quite a nice display piece as well. These are quite subtle, these Lego sets. So whereas, you know, a Lego Star Wars X-Wing is in your face, it's a, nice, it's a really big model, nice model, but big and kind of imposing. This is just a sort of nice thing to have on a shelf. This is a model that I've had since July that I haven't got round to building. 
And that brings me on to my next purchase, which is this. Now this I'm really looking forward to putting together. This is a Lego VW camper van, as you can see. Um, really nice looking model. £80 is about the retail price, but I think I got something like 10% off. Now, this brings me on to my next argument about why it's possible, unfortunately, to have too much Lego. This was actually a Christmas present from last Christmas that I just haven't got round to building. Because obviously when you want to build a set of this size, you need to set aside the time to do it. Although you can kind of leave it to one side and come back to it, I haven't got that much space to be putting something like this together. It's a bit of a hassle really to get all the bricks out and the instructions and start building again. So the long shot is that I've never actually got round to making this. And this is going to sound really strange to those of you who know how much I like Lego. I've actually decided not to buy myself any Lego for Christmas. So usually I buy a big Lego set, put it up over the Christmas holiday, and then probably display it for a bit before sticking it on eBay and getting rid of it. I was going to buy the Lego Diner set, which I think looks really cool. I love those modular buildings. They're good fun to make. They're quite reasonably priced. I think you can get the Lego Diner for £130, which I think is quite good for the size of the model. But I all of a sudden thought, do I really need any more Lego? You know, I've got this set, which is unbuilt. I've got this, which is unbuilt. I've got loads of minifigures that I haven't kind of looked through and sorted and displayed properly yet. It's nice to be able to put something down in a, in a spare space without having to worry about losing Lego bricks. And then there are these sort of looming thoughts in your mind that there are Lego sets that you haven't finished building. And then if you see a new Lego set that you want to buy in a shop, you think, well, I haven't finished the other ones and I haven't got space for this one, but the price is good, so I have to get it. Because I haven't got infinite space to store Lego, it's nothing to do with money. I'd happily spend a lot of money on Lego, but because I haven't got infinite space for it and infinite time to put the models together, I feel like I've got enough Lego. Do you ever feel like you've got too much Lego? Is it possible? Or am I just not really a true Lego fan? Let me know down below, because uh, I always like to have a little bit of an argument or discussion with you, depending on how aggressive you are. So despite what I've just said, Christmas is the time of year when shops have sales. And I was quite surprised the other week to find that one of the discount shops in my country called B&M had a 20% off Lego sale. I found a number of sets uh, that I did actually want to buy. So the first one was just a small Lego Star Wars set. Uh, this is set 75206, the Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack. And what appealed to me about this one, even though it's just very small, is that it's got kind of three pretty good minifigures in it. This one, I can't remember her name. She's some sort of uh, Jedi woman. This guy with the pointy head, I don't know their names. I like Star Wars and I like Lego, but I haven't got an encyclopedic knowledge of the characters, I'm afraid. And a clone trooper. And I know that that's a clone trooper, not a stormtrooper. So I've redeemed myself. So I think I got it for something like £7. And usually it's like 12 or £13. And I thought, well, for the minifigures alone, seven quid is quite a good price for this. Uh, yet again... It's not built. And then I got my first ever Lego Harry Potter set. This is the Quidditch match set. And of course, because this was 20% off, it went from about 33 pounds down to like 20 something. And I thought 20 pounds for a Harry Potter set with six minifigures. This is unbelievable. This is a really cool set to get. And I've got as far as opening the packet. But this is the problem I have, you see. I go into shops and if I see something on offer or a set that I really fancy buying, I can't help myself. I have decided that maybe, just maybe, I've purchased a little bit too much Lego recently. And I probably need to actually get round to building these sets. This is more of a personal thing rather than a YouTube thing because I don't usually make 
reviews of Lego sets. There are lots of YouTubers out there like Jangbricks making fantastic reviews. So I tend to make slightly different Lego discussion videos. So do you support me? Do you think that I should just build what I've got? Or do you think I should drown in Lego? Let me know down below what you think anyway, because I'd be interested to have a little bit of a discussion with you. It's very near Christmas, so I really should think about making some sort of Christmas themed videos, apart from just having a tree in the background. Uh, there are some videos here which I've carefully selected, which are relevant to this one, which I think you'd enjoy if you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching, do subscribe, and I shall see you next time for another video.